Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Time, Talent, Treasure Radio. I'm your host, Jared Sebesta of Tejas Financial Group, where we build purposeful retirement plans. At Tejas Financial Group, we believe retirement planning is so much more than just preparing financially. Our goal is to help retirees and pre-retirees steward their time, talent, and treasure. We have the tools and proven process to make sure your retirement plan delivers the greatest purpose, impact, and legacy. If you need help building a purposeful retirement plan specific for your life and your retirement, give us a call. Our number is 222-4236. You can request a meeting online at tatejustfinancial.com. And if you're in the neighborhood, just stop by our office. We're located on 19th Avenue Southwest in Wilmer, building purposeful retirement plans. Well, thanks for tuning in today. Hope you're having a wonderful day so far. If you missed last week's show, we talked about everybody's favorite topic, taxes. Probably not. But do you know where your taxes go? Ben Tejas talked about this. He talked about um, the importance of, again, not only paying your taxes, obviously, um, but it's important to know where they go. It's all part of a financial plan that uh, maybe isn't talked about this specific thread of that conversation, but Ben Tejas does talk about that. Uh, I encourage you to go check that out. And there's a number of ways you can do that. If you missed it on the radio, maybe you missed it live, uh, go back on iTunes. We're on iTunes right now. So if you like podcasts, search Time Talent Treasure Radio on iTunes. You can find us there. You can always find our shows on our website, tejasfinancial.com. Just click on Heard Us on the Radio. And we're also on YouTube. If you go to youtube.com, search Tejas Financial, find our YouTube channel, subscribe while you're there. There's a number of playlists, including all of the Time, Talent, Treasure radio show hits. You'll see them all on there. So lots of good stuff out there. Uh, Go back and listen to that show. Well, we've got a little change up for you today. Somebody's going to join us here on the radio that uh, hasn't been on the radio for quite a while. Kendra Peterson is one of our financial advisors, and she joins us on the show today. Welcome, Kendra. Hey, Jared. So you're a fully licensed advisor. You became fully licensed, I think, last year. Is that correct? That is correct. And you've been with us now for going on four or five years. Just want to make sure I've got all the technicalities correct. That is correct. Okay. You've been on the show. Have you been on the show before? Nope. First First time. time. Okay. Well, welcome. This is exciting. Yeah. It's fun to kind of change it up every once in a while. But uh, Kendra is somebody that started off behind the scenes, but you're going to see and hear from her more and more um, if you follow us. But uh, we're we're excited to have you on the show here today. And uh, I kind of gave you the, the open end of the spectrum as to what you wanted to talk about today. You chose three things that people should have on kind of their financial checklist. And I think this is probably a great time to do it because now it's summer. We're out of tax season. I think people can maybe get into a bit of a lull where they get maybe less, uh, I don't want to say aggressive, but maybe less assertive with making sure everything is is in order. But this is a really good time for people to take advantage of this time to make sure that their financial plan has everything that it needs, right? Yeah, summer's a great time. Um, things have kind of slowed down. The school year's over. And so I think it's just a great time to get your personal financial matters in order. Yeah, absolutely. Now is a really great time. The first thing in everybody's checklist that they need to have for this summer, you said, was life insurance. Talk about that. Yeah, so life insurance. Most of you probably already have life insurance, but what we want to make sure that you have is adequate life insurance and making sure that you know what you do have. Many times people have life insurance through their employer, but I think it's important to talk to your employer and look into your benefits to see how much life insurance you do have um, because it's likely that there is an additional need outside of what your employer offers. I do, I do get that a lot when I whenever I bring up life insurance to people and I speak at Jumpstart events or whatever, they'll say things like, um, I've got that through my employer. Biggest thing people need to understand is that they leave their employer, their life insurance goes away. And people may, maybe don't understand that. But to your point, they probably really don't even know what that policy holds. Would you agree? Yeah, I agree. So again, reviewing what amount you have of life insurance at your employer, um, if it isn't 10 times your annual salary, looking into getting additional life insurance, and then reviewing your beneficiaries. Have you been married recently? Um, have you had kids? So making sure that they're listed as well. Yeah. So they need to know that and also make sure they have the right type. Us being uh, a Dave Ramsey endorsed local provider, our primary source of, of insurance for people that we recommend is term insurance. Talk about that. Yeah. So again, like Jared said, we are Dave Ramsey people. In many situations, term insurance is adequate, um, making sure that it's cost effective and giving you enough life insurance that you need. There are certainly situations where other types of life insurance might be a better fit. Um, but again, we would review that with you. Yeah. And that's a decision that we can help make with, with with clients. I have a lot of people say like, well, I'm young. I don't need life insurance. But that's that kind of goes against the grain in our thinking with term life insurance, right? Yeah. Because oftentimes you are married. Again, you have young children at home. Um, And it's just 
a great time to get life insurance. You're you're young and you're healthy and it's inexpensive at that point. Yeah, like well, I, I could just think of like worst case scenario. Somebody doesn't have life insurance, they have it through their work, they leave their employer, thus they don't have life insurance. Now they're older, maybe have now a pre existing condition, and now they're in a tight spot where they really can't get it. The second thing you wanted to talk about today was not only having the right life insurance, but also making sure that there aren't just these old accounts sitting out there with unwatched eyes on them, right? Yeah, Jared. So we see it all the time here. Um, there's probably many of you out there that have old accounts from your old employers. So it's just important to track those accounts down, get a statement, see how you're invested in making sure that there's active management on those accounts going forward. I think summer, again, is a great time to do that. You're busy. Um, you don't have time to do this. It will take a little bit of homework. Uh, and like Kendra said, I think that I, I come across people all the time. They've got two or three of these things. Dave Ramsey talks about this on this show, by the way where he's like, they're like lost pets kind of hanging out in cyberspace. Nobody knows uh, what they're invested in, how much is in there. Um, and so those are things that we can help people um, with those, get those things consolidated and actually get some eyes on them. I think that that is the, one of the most important things. Uh, the third thing that you wanna talk about today is estate planning. Who, in your opinion, needs this type of type of service? Yeah, Jared, so I think most people need some form of estate planning. Um, everyone's situation is different, but are you married? Um, if you have kids at home, maybe you own a business, um, making sure that they're taken care of if something happens to you. Truth be told, when it comes to estate planning, that's more in terms of a lawyer does that. So technically, we don't do that, um, but this is something we can certainly help people out with, right? Yeah, so we do not do estate planning in our office. However, there's a lot of great local attorneys here in Wilmer and outside of Wilmer that would be able to help you. And we act as the quarterback where we facilitate that conversation, initiate that conversation with these attorneys to help get that process started. I, I've, I've heard Ben talk a lot about this where it could be a little bit, um, I don't want to say overwhelming, but if you don't have a financial planner being that quarterback, now you're the one going to an attorney. And what we've seen, it's a much easier process if we're handling um, the financials of a family and then help us facilitate, I like your word there, facilitate that conversation. It's kind of a three-way conversation. It's a lot less, I don't want to say daunting, but maybe not uh, overwhelming to somebody where we can kind of help help be that person. And also too, I would say we also quarterback the tax strategies as well. And uh, Kendra, maybe just meant, you know talk about that. Like there's so many facets of a financial plan um, that we can kind of be um, the centerpiece of that and, and really help people in a lot of ways. For sure, Jared. And one other thing that you should review is your beneficiaries. That's something that we didn't yet discuss today, but that kind of falls into all three of the things that we covered today, life insurance, old retirement accounts, um, and that falls into estate planning is making sure that your beneficiaries are up to date. Because again, maybe you've been married since you listed, maybe you got divorced, maybe you had kids. Uh, so just again, reviewing who your beneficiaries are, making sure that they are up to date and current to um, your current wishes. All right. So we've got about a minute left here. If any of these three things are striking a chord with somebody listening, what's the next step they should take? Yeah. Give our office a call and get a meeting scheduled with one of our advisors. That sounds good. And if you want to take Kendra up on that offer to talk about your checklist, whether it be on life insurance, on old 401ks or estate planning, you can give us a call right now at 320-222-4236 to request your meeting. You can also request a meeting online at our website, tachesfinancial.com. And like I say every week, if you live in West Central Minnesota and you want to stop by our office, please do so. We're located on 19th Avenue Southwest in Wilmer office hours, Monday through Friday, 830 to 430. I'm Jared Sebesta joining you on this episode of Time, Talent, Treasure Radio. Thank you so much for listening. We'll see you next time. Securities offered through Avantax Investment Services, member FINRA, SIPC. Investment advisory services offered through Avantax Advisory Services. Insurance services offered through an Avantax-affiliated insurance agency.